up guys welcome back to on the gas show we're back with another video and we're back in houston finally bro it was a gangster ass week this week bro it really was and for you guys you're not gonna see what we're really talking about what went down at the hoonigans but that episode's coming soon we had to do some crazy shit over there plus pulling up in compton's like man that was the icing on the cake yeah it was a badass experience that we had over there in california as you guys know we went to california we took the red bull truck because they were asking for something light. So we took this one and we took Gator because we were going to take Little Uzi at first. Little Uzi, we put a new mode on Little Uzi and the transmission didn't like it. So first gear went out on the transmission on Little Uzi. So that's when I talked to my boy Manuel. If you go back on the videos, you can see where we pull up to midnight. He wants to put in the motor because he actually wants to take this truck. He got it working in a day, bro. Like literally, what, how many hours? Yeah, we put up to Manuel's Monday night and by Tuesday night, the truck was loaded on the trailer on the way to Cali. Yeah, with the new motor and everything, the Hoonigas episode is going to be really badass. We ended up up racing this one with the truck and we raced that one with another car both from cali but it was a badass week it was a lot of work we were tired bro you can see in the video i'm a little quiet but i was just tired you were asleep the whole way on the way back that's what a lot of people don't know because they were like oh frag's energy this yeah. and that yeah i got hyped yeah. during the race but on the way there i was dying bro i was coughing asleep in the back seat yeah so we flew in wednesday morning to lax and then from lax we got a rental and we drove three and a half hours to san luis obispo and then waited for the guy the guys didn't pull up till three in the morning, which was already Thursday. Manuel and Perrillo slept two hours. We were waiting for them till like two. So we didn't get no sleep. We had to be up at six in the morning because we had to be over there at 6.30 at the Hoonigans Ranch. So we were tired. The timing changed from us because they were two hours before us. So that kind of like messed us up a little bit. And then we were the first pair down with this one. So we were first pair down on this one. And then second pair was supposed to be Gator with the car. The truck was too fast for the car. So they ended up matching us up with somebody else so we had to wait from 6 30 in the morning we didn't end up racing till 4 35 o'clock that same day with gator so we were tired we loaded it up we drove down to la compton so if you see the videos we're a little quiet it was just because we we're just tired we had a long day fly driving here driving there waking up early no sleep we we're a little tired but once it was game time we were all hyped up and it was what like nine of us deep it was manuel me frank perrillo jaime boyd machete i was chilling holding my nuts sag watching tv yeah. nigga. <laughs> and my boy Fajardo, houston street monsters shout out to him and all the midnight squad they pulled up this is the first time that we actually travel with them guys real cool people my boy houston street monster has a youtube channel so make sure you go subscribe to his channel he got badass car my boy got a lambo got gtr he got all kinds of shit so go subscribe to that channel too so you can see a little bit more of what he does so it was eight of us yeah in the total it was eight of us and in Compton, there was like 500 of y'all yeah it was a lot of people <laughs> over there it's just like i said out of nowhere everybody pulled up Luckily, we won because if not it would have been bad bro like it was gonna be 500 against eight of us or nine of us but we're back in houston it was fun i don't know bro what's coming up next so next weekend is october truck madness and we need to start getting ready for that so we're gonna head over to pasadena speed shop and check up on gangbang yes two weeks so not this weekend coming up but the following is october truck madness the biggest all truck event in the nation is going down at houston raceway park you do not want to miss out we got burnouts we got car truck show and we got a lot of races coming up we got a big ass four by four class and there's a lot of people coming there's people from mexico coming there's people from all over the u.s pulling up so it's gonna be fun like i said that four by four class is gonna be lit manuel has a couple of trucks velocity pasadena us i mean i'm thinking about 15 trucks and then a thousand dollars buy-in on the class so it's gonna be fifteen thousand dollars besides that we got a sponsor sponsoring five thousand dollars on top of that class so it's gonna be like a twenty thousand dollar pot at the end of the day whoever wins that class is gonna be taking all that money so y'all do not want to miss out on that y'all make sure to pull up get your tickets online we're gonna put the link down here on the comments it's gonna be the first comment pin so make sure you get your tickets what is it like a five dollar discount yeah you guys save about five bucks and there's different parking also so for you guys because we're gonna get these questions a lot it's forty dollars to get in at the day of the event it's ten dollars to drive your truck in through gate one which is the main gate so if you guys want to go into the show area or be in the main area where they're cruising around and stuff you got to pay an extra ten bucks otherwise you guys can park on the other side of the parking lot and walk over so it's a little bit extra if you want to drive in and it's a little bit cheaper if you want to park on gate three and walk in it's a lot cheaper like that but i'm sure everybody wants to drive in cruise a little truck little car but it's gonna be a lot of fun like i said we're two weeks away hopefully the weather's good bro i haven't even seen the weather i haven't looked into it it's still too early to tell but if it's something like this then it's gucci it's gonna be badass hopefully it's a little fresh because all these trucks that we're building they're all on turbo so hopefully we got that boost weather it's gonna be a lot of fun you do not want to miss out like my boy frank said right now we're supposed to be picking up crawfish tomorrow from corpus because they're finally done with the suspension 
suspension. We're gonna bring it back, put the motor in, transmission, wire it all up again, and it's gonna be ready to roll. We also got Gang Bang, which is the new build that we got going on. We actually had this truck for a while now. My boy Skinny Man did the whole suspension on that one. So that one's at Pasadena right now already, getting new wiring and stuff like that. We also got Crackhead. My boy Skinny Man is working on Crackhead. So Crackhead will be at OTM as well. We're gonna take nothing but the fast stuff to OTM. Brownie's not gonna be there. Holly's at Payne right now, so I don't think Holly's gonna be there. Our main focus right now is the 4x4s and Crackhead, and maybe Bamboy Perri is gonna be taking this truck. Are you gonna race anybody? I'll take my truck, yeah. I was gonna race Tiny, but it don't look Ooh, like it. Oh, that's right, Tiny, yeah. Where is Tiny right now? Man, I don't even know. You don't think if we put nitrous in his truck, you can run 13-0 class? Like 13s all day. Yeah, yeah, consistent. 13-0s, yeah. yeah. I like that class. Anybody want to pull up or race Perri? Y'all make sure to pull up and call this fool out, because he's a little car because he's running 13-4. He thinks he's all that now. Hours later. Anyways, the 420 is over here. We got the 420 killer. The tool is messed up, so we gotta fix that. But we got the 420 over here, looking nice and clean. In the wilderness. In the, in the wilderness. <laughs> nice. You need to clean this thing up, bro. It's a little dirty. Yeah. We'll be dropping these trucks at Manuel today. And then I think they're going to be doing some work on this one. So this one doesn't have a tune. I literally bought this truck a month ago. And I felt like they wanted to gang up on the Red Bull truck just because they know it was slow. The thing is that we post all our times. You know what I'm saying? We post all our times because we got this YouTube channel. We post all our times. So we showed that it ran a 1020. And I think that's why they wanted to race the slow truck. Like I said, we didn't pull up to California to race nobody with this one. I seen a lot of comments like, oh, well, next time you come over here, you need to pull up and before you pull up you need to let us know blah 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 hey they're the ones over there that caught us out on this one like i wasn't even supposed to race this truck just because i know it's the slowest thing that we got and it did pretty good it did a good job and a lot of people were saying that midnight built truck it's not a midnight built truck even manuel will tell you guys it's not a manual built truck it doesn't even have a lun tune on it it doesn't it's just literally what beto said the way we bought it's the way we raced it we haven't done anything to it except add nitrous yeah we added nitrous because we needed it we were against up a faster truck than this one we were racing another truck that had a lot more things than this one a big tire in the bag no no no, 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 no not yeah. <laughs> so it wasn't like we pulled up over there and wanted to call everybody out no 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 we took both of the trucks to the hoonigan show and maybe we'll get a race with this one but we ended up racing this one nobody running a race manuel nobody in the trucks because it's not the same thing racing a car of course the cars are lighter so they probably go a little faster these trucks are heavy you know what i'm saying when we said that california was slow we were talking about the trucks you know and at the end of the day like i try to explain to everybody and people misunderstand this and they think that you know that i'm soft or whatever when i was talking to some guys over there i was like bro we're just trying to promote our event in houston because i want everybody to pull up and have a good time you know that's why we make that comment you know what i mean but some people did took it the wrong way it wasn't even like that we're just trying to add a little commotion to it you know what i'm saying when canelo and mayweather are gonna fight you gotta talk a little bit of shit you know and at the end of the day everybody pays a pay-per-view and then they get paid pretty good money that's all i was trying to do you know and if you're in the business side you're gonna be thinking like us but no offense to nobody like i said we went out there we got three wins from cali and we might get some more i don't know if they come to the show you think they'll come to the show nah they're they're not gonna, i don't see them coming it's not that they're scared they just never leave their state yeah. they just don't leave their state that's all yeah. i've never seen them go out to other events except gucci went to holly fest yeah, that's yeah. about it like i said we're talking about the trucks yeah and whenever easy pulled up to dallas it's different like you didn't pull up to houston you pull up to dallas dallas is four hours hours and some change away from houston texas is so big you can drive 10 hours one way and you're still in texas that's how big texas is so it's like if we pull up to north cal and we call everybody from socal out and be like oh well, well i pulled up to california no it's not the same thing so we put up to san luis obispo and we made the drive to lax which was compton and we got a little bit of action it was fun you know we had you know maybe one or two fans out there that were <laughs> rooting for us it was like one or two only i, I really know. i only saw a kid with the, on the gas sweater on yeah. and then i caught a dude with the back camera yeah. saying 100 on right lane yeah. and i was like that's what's up yeah, but i'm yeah. sure deep down inside a lot of guys were rooting they just didn't want to make it no yeah you know? it's, it's one of those things where like damn it's texas versus cali yeah. and i don't want to look like that one dude yeah and it's not really texas it's houston versus cali yeah true right now we're gonna go head out to pasadena and we're gonna show you a little bit of gang bang who's here for the gang bang not me <laughs> <laughs> not me
Hello. Yeah. I'm here for the gangbang. <sighs> What's up, G? What you doing there, Don? I'm doing a wiring. I'm the George. What's up, bro? What's up? All right, guys. So we haven't showed this truck yet, right? It's been a while since we showed it. Yes. It was probably a couple of months back. It was a couple of months back. It didn't look nothing like this. There's been a lot of progress. My boy too has been putting in a lot of work. We're trying to get it ready for OTA. And my boy Skinny Man is the one that did the suspension on it. If you want to come back here, check out the ladder bar just a little bit because they're gonna copy us. <laughs> so of course, a little cage under the bed. You know, nothing's coming out the window. It looks a little bit more slick. So this is kind of like crawfish sister. Yeah, like a mini crawfish. Like maybe crawfish twin. So there's twins, but this one's dark. This thing is bad. So yeah, I mean, crawfish has a lot more done in the bag, but this one's pretty much when we first built crawfish. When well, my boy Skinny Man got down, we ended up putting on some carpet, this nice seat, you know, steering wheel, Holly E5. So if you guys remember well, we used all the setup from Crackhead. So we took everything from Crackhead and put on this. So the shifter, the screen, it looks like Crackhead from this side. It actually does, yeah. That's a little thing that even says Crackhead. Oh, it sure does right here. We ended up using the 5.3 from Kraken. So this truck does have a 5.3 from Texas Speed. Twin turbo kit, the fuel system, the heads, the intake, everything's Texas Speed. PRC heads, Texas Speed intake, twin turbo, alcohol. So this thing's gonna get down. It's gonna fuck. It might be just as fast as Crawfish. What do you think? It might it be, It might yes. keep up like yeah. right there at its bumper. Crawfish is gonna be just a little bit faster and then this one's up next. You wanna have something fast and then something slower. And this is a slow one. Something slow. Yeah. We want to have everything in the same, you know, like... I think people misunderstand our reference of slow. Because yeah. this is actually fast. Yes, yes, yes. But to us, it's slower than our fastest. Yes. And the Red Bull is the slow. It really is the slow. Like, it's Red Bull and then it's Perrillo. It's that slow. <laughs> That's pretty fucking slow. It's really not that slow. But out of all the 4x4s and the street trucks, it's definitely the slowest. It's a stock truck. Yeah. Literally, stock truck, full Shelby interior, even the shifters down here, full AC, radio, full weight. I mean, that thing's nice and it fucks. This one's getting a badass bumper in the front, badass hood, doors. It's gonna have a badass snug top with the wing and everything in the back. Like I said, we're two weeks away from OTM. We literally on that crunch. So all this week and next week, we're just gonna talk about OTM. So if y'all don't wanna hear nothing about OTM, turn it off right now. Turn it off because we're gonna be talking about OTM. There's a lot of things that we need to get ready for OTM. We got this one, we still got crawfish. These guys at Pasadena are super busy because they're building other trucks as well. But it's gonna be fun. We're trying to get ready for the 4x4 class. And that 4x4 class is gonna be lit. Oh, it's gonna be lit. It's gonna be a big money. Big money, man. <laughs> a lot of big money. Doing a mock up or what? Yeah. Yeah, Papa, when I told really work at the computer accessories. Yes, yeah, sir. guys so not only us are getting ready for this 4x4 class but everybody else is getting ready and as you can see my boy homie ain't playing around look at this stuff look at all this chrome look at all this bling bling intake even the headers bro piping everything the turbos my boy homie is gonna get down at otm he actually has two trucks this is the slower version of it now it might not be slow but it's the slower version compared to the other one and my boy adrian he's gonna explain to us what exactly he has on this truck this is a valley special bro it's a 4.8 from the valley uh, those don't even exist yeah. anymore bro that was back in the day it's a good size motor okay. got prc heads we just put the frankenstein intake he got a 72 millimeter turbo garrett's Similar to Gringos. 72, okay. It's a setup very, very similar to similar Gringos. To that, yeah. Pretty much what it is. It's a lot heavier. The truck, it's a full weight, full interior, everything. For Lady E, it is Holly, E85, air to air intercooler. Besides the bling bling? Yeah. Nothing too crazy it's out of the ordinary. I guess it's the bling bling that makes it stand out more. You know what I yeah. mean? And then the turbos might be sticking out the hood too. Yeah. Uh, like I said, homie is trying to get this one ready and another one. The other one's the Gremlin, right? Yes, the Gremlin. We hurt the motor with the Pro Charger. So we're doing another 427, but we're about to put twins on it. So twin turbo alcohol 400 dominator you know the works so the pro charger truck that they were running now it's twin turbo yes and that one's going on the class too yes that's what we're trying to get ready right now for the class we're rushing to get it done we're trying but we have it ready so from what i heard he wants to call out freddie on this one right yeah man i don't know what freddie runs but i think he's gonna have his hands full with this, this little street truck and this one's full interior full everything nothing's Air cut man. out nothing's cut out radio two seats dash 
Last time I saw Freddy Shark, bro, he had cut the dash in the middle. You seen that shit? That shit look ugly, bro. Freddy, <laughs> you can do better than that, bro. Come on. We seen it in Colorado. Motherfucker just grabbed the salsa and just chopped the motherfucker off. It's not even a straight line, bro. Yeah, it was just all fucked up. Como que se chingó el salsa al medio. Hey, it just started going all over the place. So, the same blade they used in the bed and everything. Yeah. So, it's an official call out. My boy homie said to call you out, Freddy. He wants to race you with this one. Check it out, the blue one. I don't know if you've seen it already. I think they had locked in the race already in Colorado, right? Yeah, they did. That's so, come on, get some action, Freddy, because. Just let them know this one we just converted to four wheel drive. We did convert it to four wheel drive. I think it'll make it a little more consistent. The 28 on a two wheel drive is pretty hard to be competitive, but yes. now four wheel drive on four wheel drive crime, I think it'll be. That'll be fun. It'll be a good race, man. We're going to try. So, it's a call out to Freddy with the water snake. And if you beat this one, then you need a rematch with the other one, right? Yeah, for sure. We're Gremlin. The other ones are gutted out and it's lighter. He looks look like the King oh, Cobra. Yeah, King yeah. Cobra. That fool got a bunch of names on that truck, bro. You need to pick one, Freddy. I think everybody knows that truck as a water snake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got to race, Freddy. Make sure your truck is ready, bro. I don't want no excuses that all oh, this and that and it ain't ready. The truck we seen in Colorado and it runs really good. Hey, that motherfucker takes off. It yeah. runs really good. I was impressed. So it's going to be about to ask if this one, this one's a brand new build. So they're going to try to finish it and they're going to show you what's up once. Uh, homie's driving. Homie's driving. Homie's driving. Yeah, homie's driving. Driving, so. That's like 300 and some pounds, That's bro. For 320 <laughs> in the morning. Before eating. In the morning. Yeah, in the morning. So, is this like the first official call out for OTM? It is the first, especially 4x4 trucks. Okay, yeah. there you go. So, Freddy on the King Cobra versus Homie on the Little Homie. Let's do it off the trailer. Like for the class? No, no. off the trailer. Like just already tested. Oh. Straight up grudge match. Grudge okay. match okay. early off the trailer. We'll show up early before the class starts and everything. Let's just get it done early. Make sure everybody tap in right here. Comment down below. Y'all better tag Freddy on the comments because Freddy needs to see this. It's going to be fun. Maybe put a little bit of money on the side. I don't know. Oh, I'm sure homie's down. I'm not sure Freddy's down too as well. But yeah, like I said, everybody's trying to get ready for this OTM show. My boy got all the polish, all the bling bling under here. And we still need to go get crawfish, which is going to be tomorrow. But he's going to go get it from Straight Line Performance. Shout out to my boy Jason Flores. He got down. He did that truck in a month, right? So we redid the truck pretty much. We did the whole truck. We did the suspension on it in the front. They didn't have no suspension in the front. Now we got a little bit of suspension in the back. We did some little upgrades on the motor, so it should be a little bit faster than what it was before. So hopefully we get it, put it all together, and then we should be testing Sunday, right? Sunday is the plan to test. Probably all of them. All of them. Even this one? Yeah. yeah. This one too? Yeah. So we coming hard. <laughs> <laughs> four, 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 four,